Hello everybody and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. So I've done a little bit of work on the base and I decided to delete this horrible ugly section that I had coming up here because yeah I just didn't especially like it. I've still got my nice welcome mat here, I've got a turret next to it and this is my donation box for the raiders which they just stole from so I am going to be heading out on a raid in a second but look in here look, I've just got to the upgrade four more floors to level three and then once I've done that my entire base is going to be surrounded in oak just obviously got to do that bit there but this is one hell of an achievement an entire horde proof base and if I'm lucky raiders aren't gonna start breaking my actual walls if they do then I'll probably build a little 2 by 2 over here for the, for the um, raiders to break into but with all of that aside, I think we should head out on a raid. So I'm going to need to go to the green zone, grab a few bits of wood there first quick. Okay then, that should be all of the hatchets crafted up. Let's head over to player 8472's base. Oh, and we used up all of our petrol. Oops, meant to run there. Oh well. Right, come on, let's get a nice base of stone walls. Haven't had one of them. In a while. Oh, I got base of stone walls on stream the other day, and I actually got a second snorkel mask. I'm not sure if I've showed that off yet. But yeah, I now have two snorkel masks. Let's see what we're going to get. Okay, it's not looking good. Looks like it's open plan. No chopper. Empty truck. Hmm. What have they put on their chopper so far? One engine part in their chopper. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. I've absolutely no idea what the last bit was that I recorded. I don't remember anything about this base. It's probably been about half an hour since the since I recorded the last clip. All right, so let's make our way over to the base. All right, it's looking like the base of a low-level person. One engine part in there. Okay, you know what? Let's just stop breaking our way in. What are we getting? <laughs> Steel plate and an engine part in the first chest. I'll take it. I mean, I definitely prefer steel bars at this point to plates, but I'll definitely take it. And you know what? We'll drop them off in there as well. So, okay. Raid, already worth it. Free engine part. So... I'm going to guess that maybe the other good stuff is around it. Here, maybe? Uh, it's not too bad. Oh, okay. And we're being attacked by zombies. Fantastic. And, all right, just a fast biter and a floater to go. And all dead. Right, I'm guessing this might have food in it. Let's take a look at what we get. Um, so this base is seeming a little bit on the unorganized side. What are we getting? I want to take that. And I'll take the tape. And nope, let's kill all these. I really do want iron bars. I need exactly 50 so that I can finish my base. And that just gave me 20. Let's get a silence M16. Why are they hurting me so quickly? I guess there was quite a lot of them hitting me there. Right. Was there oak planks in one of these? No, it's oak logs. Yeah. Alright, let's just keep smashing our way through. Three, four. A bit more petrol. Always nice. So I'm guessing this is going to have refined planks in it. No, no it isn't. That's where all of your good guns are. Okay then. All right, let's go drop off the petrol in the chopper. <laughs> Just got a fully modded AK from a pretty potato base. I will definitely take that. Right, now let's organize hatchets in the inventory a little bit. There we go. And let's do it like that. Perfect. Okay, my armor is 
all about to break, but fortunately we found a chest there with a load of SWAT armor in it. So I don't mind if... Nope, do not hit that. And was it this one? Nope. This one? Nope. This one? Yeah. Okay, let's take that. Take that, and you know what? We'll put on some fresh SWAT boots. Actually, we'll take some fresh SWAT boots. And the trousers instead of that half health hatchet. Which is rather difficult to say, half health hatchet. Right, come on, give us something good. Four steel bars. Okay. Oh dear. Um, we got everything coming to kill us. All right, that, those four steel bars are going to get us another trunk to go in our nice new steel room. All right. It definitely feels like they've made the zombies a bit stronger here. Okay, so. Where was I? There was a helmet there. Nope. Ugh. Well, that's one less wall. Let's take that. No, I said let's take that. And take this instead of a half health hatchet. Ooh, I want the red tickets. Let's take the red tickets instead of the three copper ore. Ooh, but that's six of copper ore and that's another bar. We don't need the 13 wood. Okay. So this could be going a little bit better. I mean, we've probably pretty much already gotten their best stuff. <laughs> 15 med kits. Okay, um, let's take the med kits instead of the bandages. Um, just going to go to everything, press E so I can stack it. There we go, got another two oak. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some lovely... Don't put us at 100. A 99 noise. Ooh. Uh, okay. So the next one is going to summon in the big one. And we've got four chests to go. You know what? We'll, we'll get two of them. Nothing amazing. Nothing amazing. Nothing amazing. And you know what? We're taking a bit too much damage now, so we're going to just have to leave that. <sighs> Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Have we got an airdrop or anything going on that we can go and have a look at? No. Uh, that's unfortunate. But the bunker's resetting in five hours. Yeah, so I'm probably going to be streaming about half an hour after this video comes out. So, from when you're watching this, half an hour later, video will be live. And someone has tagged me in Discord. Congratulate me on getting 7k views on the 1.8.1 update video. Has that got 7k views on it already? Wow, that's pretty impressive. Alrighty then. Okay. Pretty good raid loop. Definitely incredibly happy with all of this. Right, now let's go and stash it all away into our lovely new base and probably even make up a, a um, new trunk. So I, I did in the end put a metal door here just to separate it in case they add in the metal cutter but this is nice I really if I had the space for it I would just fill this all with the weapons display cases this is a little bit unfortunate but look at that that is that is lovely okay oh you know what let's grab some brick out of there and we can, instead of just stashing it all away, upgrade that one, upgrade that one. Uh, where's that floor? Uh, we need 15 more brick. Let's take that. And upgrade that one. Right, what do we need? We need 10 metal. We've got 6 metal. I think we're going to be able to do this. We might be able to completely surround our base. There we go. That puts us up to 12. We can do it. And ta-da. Okay. One wall. Need to get the brick. Not That's a little bit anticlimactic. All right. Let's just grab some food out of this chest. Yeah. There we go. All right. So we need brick. Which is all here. Right, so we've got enough oak for three walls on us at least. One, two, oh, 
let's just do that. And, oh, I meant, uh, I was supposed to grab brick, not, yep, yep, okay. Uh, okay, so we do now have just one left to go, but I don't think I've got a single bit of wood lying around at my base anywhere. Hmm. Nah, I don't think I do. But our base is now completely 100% protected from the horde. Ish. As soon as I get just one loose little bit of wood, then it'll be all sorted and safe. Right, so we've got eight of them. Have we got any normal chest line around? We've got one chest there. And... Whereabouts is a the trunk? There we go. So we need nails, oak, and metal bars. So there's the oak. Um. Hmm. Should be... There we go. Nails. I don't think that's going to be enough nails, is it? Now I need five more. Should definitely have... Okay, we've got two there. Spare military backpack that I got in a raid the other day. Hmm. Have I actually not got any more nails lying around at my base? That is definitely a possibility. Have I got nails in either of these? Nip. 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 No nails. No nails. <laughs> hey, we've got nails there. Perfect. Let's make ourselves a trunk. Okay. Furniture. I think it's this one that's needed can need to be upgraded next. So that has got food in it at the moment. We'll put that to there. We'll place down our lovely new trunk there. And let's go and sort all of this out. Okay, so all of this stuff can go into here, make a nice bit of space in my inventory for me. And I'm dying of thirst. Fantastic. You know what? Let's drink a beer and just pee on the floor. Because why not? I'm sure that's the healthiest thing that we can do. There we go, perfect. Right, and take all of this, and we'll start dropping it off into our lovely new trunk, which we are going to need to paint. Right, can I just sort all of this out in my inventory a little bit? And let's put that to there. Just want to sort it out so I don't have to do as many trips. And should have dropped off the oak here. We have really burnt through our supply of oak. But on the upside, pretty much never need to go oak farming again unless I decide I want to do the oak thing as a honeycomb or at least a double ring. Which, to be fair, I would like to have it as a double ring of oak. But I'm not going to bother doing that until the effect like the dumplings has been added back to the game. Just because it takes way too long and will really burn through my hatchet supply. Okay, so let's organize this like that. Let's put that up there. Let's do it like that. Okay. I'm pretty damn happy with all of this. Engine parts, engine parts, where do you go? Hey, look at this trunk. Um, Ta-da! Entire trunk of planks. I love it. What are we going here? There we go. That's putting us up to 18 engine parts in there. Um, Fully modded AK can go there. Did I take a shotgun from there? I have not. Haven't taken one from here either. I could do a VSS to put into there just to sort all this out, make it look a bit neater. You know what? Let's put that there. We'll bring the new shotgun into there. Hmm. See, we have got now a lot of storage space in our center area. Let's just chuck all of these bits in here. No. Try and be a bit more organised than that shade. It's really weird calling myself shade. That's just odd. And we'll take the whiskey. And yeah, that should be good. Right, so copper goes into here. And we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 27 ore worth of copper bars in there. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, almost 8 steel worth of walls. That's pretty good. 
I am oh, I'm incredibly happy with our massive stockpile of stuff. I love it. I like having resources. It's a good feeling when you've got everything that you need. Um, let's drop this off around here. Really starting to run low on petrol. But I think... Oh yeah, found a cool way to... So if anybody has lots of generators lying around your base, I found a cool way to store them. But you can put generators on top of each other. Yeah, you got it takes a little while, but there you go. Perfect. They shimmer a little bit and they're kind of out of focus of each other. Like just misaligned. But that there is four generators right on top of each other. So even if someone does get into my base, they're only gonna get one. They can't take multiple. Right, I'm gonna end off the episode here. That was a pretty damn nice raid. Thank you very much for watching everybody, and I'll see you in the stream later. Bye!